Hello, I'm Shivam Ghosh from Stratasys Software. Today we're going to talk about how to set up the software for your new J-Series printer. I'm going to use the J750 in our Boston office, but this should also apply to J735s, J700s, and other printers in the J-Series. Check the description of this video below to see what printers this applies to. Now, we're assuming your printer is already unboxed and powered on. We're just going to install the software needed to get your first print up and going. You're going to need two pieces of software to make this work. Grab CAD Print, where the engineer arranges parts on a tray and creates new jobs. And the Grab CAD PolyJet Job Manager, which lets the printer receive jobs from Grab CAD Print. You can think of the Job Manager as a middleman between Grab CAD Print and the machine level software. Both are downloaded by going to grabcad.com and clicking on Print and creating a free account. In general, if your company already has a main GrabCAD print account, it's best to log into that. But either way, by creating a new account or using the old one, the software you get will be the same. And it's always free and never requires a license. Once you've got your new GrabCAD print account, go ahead and log in. And GrabCAD print is downloaded here. You can download GrabCAD print here and it's about a 400 megabyte download. And you get the job manager by going to apps and then down here to the job manager. It's about a 150 megabyte download. If you're in a super secure environment, it's okay to download both pieces of software outside and move them inside via USB drive. Once you have both pieces of software downloaded, you need to decide if your J-Series printer will be connected to your local area network or not. This decision will affect where we install each piece of software. The most common setup is to connect your printer to your secure company network. That way, the operator can be at their own desk to send jobs anywhere in the building. In this case, GrabCAD Print will go on the operator's computer, and the job manager will go on the computer inside the printer. We call this Scenario 1. In some companies, it will be decided that the printer cannot be connected to the local area network. In this case, the operator will need to be standing within physical reach of the printer to send a job. Now you'll need a computer next to the printer to host GrabCAD Print and a crossover cable to connect them. In this case, GrabCAD Print will be installed on this host computer and the job manager will still be installed on the computer inside the printer. For reasons I won't go into here, we call this Scenario 4. Take a moment right now to pause the video and decide whether you'll install Scenario 1 with the J750 on your LAN or Scenario 4 with a host computer. Once you've decided, continue on. Now take the Job Manager EXE you downloaded earlier and put it on the computer inside your printer. Some people call this the Embedded Computer or Printer Computer. If you didn't realize, this is just a Windows computer like any other computer in your building. It's simply hard installed inside your 3D printer. Check to make sure you don't already have a version of the GrabCAD PolyJet Job Manager installed on your printer. Sometimes I do that for testing inside the factory. If you have an older version of the job manager installed, simply uninstall it before continuing. When you're ready to start the install, double click on the job manager exe to run it. On the very first screen of the job manager, always use 127.0.0.1 for the IP address. This is the job manager communicating with the hardware on the same machine as the job manager itself, so this address won't change. Someone once told me I can call this the loopback or self-reference IP address if I wanted to sound smart, but I always just remember it by numbers instead. Always use 127.0.0.1 for both scenarios 1 and 4. Now we're getting into the differences between the scenarios. If you're following scenario 1, you're going to have to do the following steps. We're going to give the embedded computer inside the printer an IP address. We're going to install GrabCAD print on an engineer's computer somewhere on the LAN. And finally, we're going to add your new printer into GrabCAD print. These are the steps to give your embedded printer computer an IP address. I'll go over them slowly here on a static image and then do it live. Feel free to pause the video or rewind if you need more time. And remember, you're doing this on the embedded computer inside your J-Series printer. First, you're going to go to the control panel, network and internet, 
network connections. You're going to find your Ethernet connection and right click and choose properties. Then you're going to go down to where it says IPv4, so Internet Protocol 4, and click on it and choose properties again. And finally, the settings you want to set are obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server automatically. Okay, you want automatic for both in this case. And there's a note here, you may want to write down the previous values first, just as a security. Now I'm going to pause ending this video and show you those steps live. Here I am going to the control panel. Let's go to network and sharing center. There's my wireless connection. You're going to use Ethernet in your case. It'll work out the same. Let's go to properties. Find that IPv4 and choose properties again. And finally, the two settings we want to set are both automatically. Okay, and that's it. Just hit OK and get out of it. And now back to our regularly scheduled video. All right, if you're doing scenario one, where the printer is on your LAN, go to a computer on the same LAN as that printer, a pl computer where the engineer or operator normally sits, and double click the GrabCAD print EXE. This is the 400 megabyte EXE you downloaded earlier. Say yes to the terms and conditions, and you will need administrative access on this PC to install it. This is a change we made a few releases back, but the download you get from grabcad.com requires admin access. Okay, and then the install takes about four to five minutes to accomplish. At the end of the installation, launch grabcad print. And what you're looking to do is to be able to connect to your existing printer. So you can go to add, find a network printer, and you should see your J750s on there. If you don't see your J750s, you can connect via IP address. But you say you don't know your IP address? For most installations on Scenario 1, GrabCAD Print should automatically find your printer on the network. But if it doesn't, you'll have to find your IP address manually. So this next step, we're going to do on the embedded in the J750. So go back to the J750, and we're going to do an IP config. On your J750, type in CMD for a command manager. Type in IP config slash all. And you'll get a bunch of data, but what you're looking for is something that says IP4 address right there. So if this was on my, my J-series printer, this would be my IP address, and this is what you would enter in find my printer by IP address. Again, do this step on your embedded inside your J750 for scenario one, and you should be able to find your IP address. For those of you doing Scenario 4, it's pretty much the same. You're going to install GrabCAD Print on the host computer. You'll still need admin rights on the host computer to do so. And after install, if you can't add your printer automatically, you can still do an ipconfig slash all on the embedded to find your IP address. One quick note about IP addresses in Scenario 4, a lot of time we see the address is 10.0.0.1 used for the embedded PC and 10.0.0.2 used for the host PC might be good for your reference. Again, you can always set these addresses using the tools we showed before, and you can always check them using the ipconfig slash all command. In GrabCAD print, what you're really looking for is the IP address of the embedded PC. That's what you have to type in to connect to your printer. Either way, you're done when you can open GrabCAD print and see your new printer on the list. And once you can see the printer in GrabCAD print, you're ready to go. If you need any more information about scenarios 1 and 4, or 2 and 3, check out the help article in the description below. 
If you need any more help during install, call this number or email this address. And beyond that, happy printing, and I hope this helped.